The sky is very dark, but it brings just a tiny amount of rain. Certainly not enough to stop us from going for a walk. Nature looks more and more tired, ready to take a rest. It's probably taking advice from the sun that is very hidden somewhere unknown and we haven't seen it for days now. We greeted mouflons living nearby and you can also hear an interesting rooster challenge that was going on in the background. Or maybe they were also just greeting each other. Our goal was to find rose hips and we knew that's an easy task as we already harvested a few of them directly in our garden from a shrub that's just growing there on its own. But we wanted to find more. There are so many of them here. Yeah, and looks like a lot of them are soft. Good. So this is a rich spot. Just the thorns are inconvenient. Yeah. I would like to know why there are thorns on roses. I would guess it's a protection against something, but roses, I don't know. And birds can still eat the berries, the rose hips. So, I don't know. It's God's will. <laughs> Done, explained. And the trees and shrubs want the birds to eat rose hips and their fruits, right? Because then they shit it elsewhere <laughs> and new shrubs are going to grow, right? Okay, they poop it out, yes. They poop it out, yeah. They poop out the new shrubs. <laughs> that must hurt, right? With thorns and everything. <laughs> Look, honey, a bit of sun. Ooh, we haven't wow. seen that in November yet, or December, or whatever it is. <laughs> For us it's still November, but this is like 2% of the sun. <laughs> I would like to see more, but the weather said no. Maybe next month. It still hasn't rained for a long time, so we decided to water all our trees and shrubs. We have almost 300 by now, <laughs> so I think it's gonna take a while. Uh, in the meantime, the sun is still trying to show its face, but it's failing so far. We are waiting for more water to arrive to our barrel, because it's a long way to go, 150 meters. <laughs> so we are too fast. Yeah. And I hate waiting, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> Tommy doesn't like this, but look. It looks quite optimistic, Ooh. so much blue sky. Nice. Yeah, so it will be sunny. Okay. The meteorologist has spoken. <laughs> I trust you. And it's starting. See, I told you so. I'm the best, the best weatherman on the planet. You're the best at everything. I am. And it's sunny but in a short time the sun will set <laughs> so it's a short sunny moment yeah so we have to enjoy it because it's already after 3 p.m so you know yeah it's late <laughs> we're going to bed soon <laughs> <laughs> no we are now waiting for the water to flow in again it's so slow we already watered like half of the shrubs no but on that <laughs> side, the majority was already watered from last week. So, like size-wise, we are in the half of the property. No. <laughs> we are. Tommy doesn't know what he's okay. talking about. I think we would need like maybe three more hours to do it. <sighs> it's pleasant. If it were sunny more during winter and autumn and this colder half of the year it would be so much better much more bearable but oh well we should travel more during winter when there's not so much to do here and go somewhere sunnier yeah we should but there is covid and everything so it's a bit complicated 
and the situation in Europe is getting worse again and Austria even doesn't allow tourists in anymore. Yeah. So you, you don't know what's gonna happen next week. So sad. I wanted to go for a Christmas market there to Vienna, but it doesn't look like it now. Mm -hmm. But maybe it will change again. We'll yeah. see. It changes all the time. Yeah. Or it's just like bad for our bodies. It's a great workout for one arm. <laughs> While we were watering our shrubs, we found a big hole made here by voles. So this is how they destroy our shrubs, by eating the roots from those holes. So this is like a tunnel to hell or something. <laughs> so big. Uh -huh. And this is what happens when you try to water the shrub. And all the water immediately runs away to their home. So enjoy the bath, bitches. <laughs> okay, so hopefully they are bathing now. I'll try to repair the damage. Yeah. It's not a good feeling when you are trying to build something or in our case plant something and something is trying to destroy it yeah. all the time. A little bit better. But they will be back. Yeah. But we try to make their lives hell. Mm -hmm, yeah. We are in the kitchen again and we are going to prepare strudel. In English, a strudel. <laughs> it's quite popular here and like very normal type of dessert. It's going to be with apples, that's what I plan. But I've never done it before. So we need flour, normal white flour. This is 250 grams, then water, 125 milliliters of lukewarm water, 50 milliliters of oil, and that would be it, but in some recipes there was vinegar. So I'm going to add a bit of that because our grandmothers used that. That's what the internet said. And you need to like work the dough for quite a long time. It's going to take at least 30 minutes. If you haven't heard, strudel became popular in the 18th century throughout the Habsburg Empire. Which we were part of. Which we were part of, yeah. So it's now a part of Austrian cuisine, but it's also very common in other Central European countries. And I love the dough. It's very great, not sticky at all. And it's great to play with it. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I changed stations. <laughs> I figured I could do it here. So yeah, YouTube it is. Tommy is helping. Woohoo! Unvoluntarily. <laughs> but he has to, of course, because we are preparing an apple filling for the strudel. So we are using four apples. But we are not sure about the amount, because we don't know how big our strudel is going to be. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> so for apples, we have only 2000 left. So that's how many more strudels we can make. <laughs> <laughs> the apples are grated, so now I'm going to add flavor to our filling. 
First we need sugar. I don't know how much that wasn't in the recipe. Everyone does it their own way. So. <laughs> this is my way. So in American recipes it will be probably two cups. <laughs> Cinnamon. One cup. Raisins. Going to be good in this. And a bit of walnuts. Tommy said I should make smaller pieces. So okay, so it's basically just apples. <laughs> All the other things are. It will disappear. Yeah. Moment. And now the most interesting part. We need a clean cloth. And now we need flour. Directly on the cloth? Yes. So the dough don't stick to it. And now the main objective is to make the dough very, very thin. It should be so thin you could read newspaper through it. So, <laughs> so good luck. Wish me luck, yes. <laughs> and there is a method, like you should use your hands, your fists, and it should just go by itself. Like somehow. making pizza. When you see it on TV, not in real life. Do you see it's getting thin? Uh huh, I almost can read you. <laughs> read me. <laughs> But look here, I messed up. Uh -huh, yeah. so I there are wrinkles. Uh, oh my Maybe God. you should use an iron. No, I screwed up. This is... We are done. Okay. Uh, oh no. It's staring. Guys. Because now the dough is different. Because there is flour on this side. So I can't just put it together and start again. I have to somehow. Okay. I hate it. Second attempt. Who does this? <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Tommy before. It's so much fun to try new things and like to bake together. And he was like, no, it's so boring. And why is it so difficult? And I was like, no, no, it's fun. But why is it so difficult? Like, who does this? I hate difficult recipes. Yeah, it's just food, it's not worth it. We should just eat the apples. <laughs> we don't need gluten, there's nothing in this dough that's nutritionally like good for us. Um, I can imagine <laughs> they had a lot of time on their hands in Austrian Empire. But we don't have time nowadays, so... That's why people buy this in supermarkets. But strudel is very common. People make it very often. Grandmas and everyone. So I don't know. So it shouldn't be too complicated, right? No, there, there must be some other method. This is I don't I can't imagine that someone does this. I must be doing it completely wrong. I can already see comments. <laughs> Peter, what are you doing? Why don't you use the strudel or? Strudel or? <laughs> and now we have to roll it. So, like this. Okay. It's done. <laughs> You're supposed to do it a few times, but there's no space left. <laughs> there it is. Oh no, <laughs> I forgot to add butter. Oh yeah? We have melted butter here and where should it go? Into each layer, all two of them. <gasps> Into each layer. So it wouldn't stick together. Good luck unsticking it now. But who cares? Should I just take it like this? But... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we are here. 
So now, just into the oven with this 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, but <laughs> we don't know, so we'll see how long this will take. But honey, the paper is flying. What? Or maybe I should use that <laughs> to stick it to the pan. There. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. It doesn't look bad. It looks like a baguette. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like this now. I already cut off this part. And the consistency is not <laughs> what it should be because the dough is like more crunchy so you left it in the oven too long you think no i think i should have made the dough thinner mm -hmm. at the beginning but it was difficult the process okay. and now i can see that cutting is not an option because <laughs> it falls apart so we are going to eat it just like this, you know, like a sandwich. <laughs> okay, got it. So guys, you know, we don't care what our meals look like. <laughs> this is the result. <laughs> this is the result. Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> so I recommend and Tommy will agree as well. This? Would you left for me? Two raisins? No. Mm -hmm. Just take Tommy a big... recommends. <laughs> take a big bite from the big piece. Yum. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. So guys, looks like this was a success. Again. Again. We only have successes in our lives and this is what our breakfast looked like on a work day Tommy in his home office where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue it's four o'clock in the evening I haven't left my room but the truth is if I'm honest I feel stuck here in the middle Am I one of those crazy people? Should I stay here or should I let go? It's really good. I missed it. We can only have these fresh at the beginning of winter, right? Because that's when they are ripe. So it's nice to have little things to look forward to during winter as well, because we consider it a boring season otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> now we can at least look forward to Christmas, which mm -hmm. is less than one month from now. Yeah. But then January, February, we usually have nothing going on except our birthdays in yeah. February. And before Christmas, there is also St. Nicholas Day. Which is in just a few days? Yeah, in just a few days. So that's starting our Christmas time, mm -hmm. Christmas season. Yeah. And this is also nice to boost our immune systems because the COVID situation is very terrible again <laughs> in our country. We are not the best in the world yet. I mean best like the most new cases per day, but it's coming, I feel. Yeah, we were fifth in Europe Mm -hmm. Last I was reading about it, and it's getting worse. Yeah. Oh well, so rose hip tea is a necessity, and let's hope we won't catch it anywhere. It's our booster for now, because we don't qualify yet for the third <laughs> vaccine. Yeah, we are not eligible yet. And here I am, testing myself for Covid. I hate to put the thingy up my nose. It's mandatory at my work again, just like it was last spring. 
The situation got really bad and Czech Republic is again the worst in the world if you look at the number of new cases counted per population. Just recently we passed Slovakia and Austria, which were on top. Oh dear. Okay guys, so it looks like I am negative. Yay! So this will be my routine from now on. Once a week or maybe even shorter intervals, so yay! Among other things, also Christmas markets are cancelled. It's supposed to get colder and maybe we'll even see snow in the coming days. So we had to pack our old water pump. The season is really coming to an end. Speaking of water pumps and wells, we hope you guys are doing well. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you in another video. So until then, bye!